Hello, my friends. Welcome to your collective Tarot and Astrology reading for November 25th, 2023. My name is Natasha, also known as Nurse Natasha. This is a collective energy reading for November 25th. 2023. Um, I do, I'll tell you a little bit about the astrology that's happening, and then we're also going to pull some cards about it. I've been doing this every single day for the month of November. I'm going to do this until the end of November. I'm mostly just doing this for my own personal practice, but I thought I would share it with y'all. Um, you know, funny enough, I set the goal that I wanted to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year here on YouTube, but I feel like as I've been transitioning from, I mostly teach yoga, that's what I do, that's what I'm kind of known for, but as I've been transitioning from yoga, I always do new moon and full moon yoga, but to more tarot and astrology I feel like I'm losing the subscribers that I had from yoga and like gaining the subscribers from tarot and astrology so it's like balancing out so you know what we're just here for a good time I'm here to tell you the energy of what's going on um, and if you enjoy it maybe subscribe like comment whatever share everything all, all the things all the buttons it helps a small business out more than you know so we're gonna get right into it now we have the knight of pentacles already lurking here at the bottom of the deck which is very fitting because we are in our waxing gibbous phase in Taurus and we just went from an area moon to a Taurus moon and this is like our little tiny little tiny chance to ground before the moon moves into Gemini and then we gear up for a full moon in Gemini on the 27th like when that full moon in Gemini hits a lot of things are going to be in fire and air you know it's going to be like all Sagittarius and then the full moon in Gemini is just going to add some air to that fire so it's going to be a little chaotic but with this waxing gibbous in Taurus on the 25th it is a little bit of a time to ground and I think I literally wrote focus on stability and security in my notes for today and the knight of pentacles is reinforcing that like take some time to ground before things get a little chaotic um, you know, things have already kind of been chaotic, not as chaotic as eclipse season, but as we have moved um, from Scorpio season into Sagittarius season, it's definitely like a funner chaos than Scorpio and eclipse season. But, you know, it's still it's still fiery. It's still air. It's still chaos. So, uh, yeah, take the time to ground today. You know, um, we are today on the day of my filming. This is Black Friday. It's Small Business Saturday. Please remember to support small businesses. I am a small business. My personal readings are half off. Um, all of my Witchcraft and Wellness courses and ebooks are half off, so just really remember to support a small business um, and focus on grounding and slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles. So that being said, let's see what else is going to come up for today, November 25th. Also, um, I asked this yesterday, but if you have any small businesses that you love or that you'd like to share, please put them in the comments. Um, let's just really show up for small business and not corporations because... Yeah, those corporations don't care. <laughs> Small businesses care. And we need the help and support more than you know. If you like what I do here, I also have a live membership here on YouTube. If you just hit the join button, I think of it kind of as a Patreon. If you just want to support my small business and my channel, it's $29.99 a month. And we're starting with... The Nine of Cups, wish come true, wish fulfillment. If you've been watching these readings since day one, this has been our little stalker card, and it's a great stalker card to have. Wish fulfillment energy. And this is the after tarot that I'm using here, and you can see it's one moment after the traditional tarot, and this guy's getting his wish. Someone's bringing him his feast. So this whole month of November, I feel like it's been heavy on the making the wish, making the wish, you know, wishing upon a star, manifesting, all that kind of stuff. And I really, as soon as I started shuffling, the fool came out. I really think that, it's at near the end of November, it's really going to start to come to fruition. I think the wishes are going to start to come through. I think the full energy is going to start to come through because what we've been dealing with in the past probably a couple months, honestly, from eclipse season to Scorpio season has been the closing of a cycle. We've seen the world like a gajillion times um, in these readings. And it's like the world is the closing of the portal. The world is the final stages. It's the congratulations. You did it. It's the celebration of making it to the end of the cycle. And then the fool starts the cycle all over again. So in the tarot, the world is the last card and the fool is the first card. And I think we're going to start to finally feel these new beginnings. I think we're going to finally start to see these manifestations coming through and the start of a new cycle, whatever that may be. So I'm ready for it. Look, I have been in desperate need of a new cycle for a while. What else do we need to know? On November 25th, 2023, we have our waxing gibbous in Taurus as we're gearing up for this full moon coming up. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, again, heavy on the Pentacles grounding energy. I wish the glare from my window wasn't making these cards look terrible. There's the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you know, this is the Ace, the card um, one in the Pentacles. And it's, I think it's really interesting that... Um, 
in this deck, usually it's the universe holding out a gold coin with the in the hand, but in this one it's like a little bug and the coin is already on the ground. I feel like it's almost giving like a little bit of a bonus. It's like you already got your coin and now there's just gonna be like a little bit of a bonus, a little bit of like a something else on top of that. We have the Emperor card of Aries. Um, again, we have all this fire energy happening. Our move just, moon just moved from Aries to Taurus. Um, but it's like a reminder to still be in control of your life and control of what happens as we move into this very fiery, chaotic kind of thing. I think it's a reminder to, again, stay true to your, stick to your guns is what I'm hearing. Like, stay true to yourself, stay true to your goals. Don't let the fire and the chaos get the better of you. You know, we have... Uh, the sun, Mercury, and Mars and Sagittarius. That is a heavy, heavy chaos fire energy. Don't let people, don't let people trigger that inside of you. Don't let people get you distracted from what you're trying to do here, okay? Ace of Swords. Yeah, either, you know, be careful. The swords, as much as it is, this, is, is the suit of the mind, it's also the suit of like the voice and the air energy. You know, be careful with your words. Uh, say what you mean, communicate clearly, communicate your truth. Um, I have this other deck. It's like a kind of like a magic eight ball sort of deck. And I, it's like where you can ask questions. It'll give you like very simple answers. It's an Oracle deck from threads of the fate. And I was asking just like, what do I do next? Like, what do I do for the rest of the year? And the card that I pulled was unveil your truth. And that's kind of what the ace of swords is like stick to your truth. Six of Pentacles, being sure to keep the giving and taking um, equal. Come on, Glare, work with me here. Um, you know, equal give and take. Make sure it's not out of balance. Make sure you are giving as much as you receive and you're receiving as much as you give. Is there If there's an imbalance there, cut it off. Stop it. Don't do it anymore. And the Knight of Wands. This is that fire energy coming through. There might be certain things that you feel like you need to kind of charge forward ahead into. Um, you know, that's under the emperor and that's both heavy fire energy. There's nothing wrong with charging ahead. There's nothing wrong with taking a risk. We have the fool, we have the knight of wands. As long as that risk is calculated, we have the emperor, like, you know, the culmination of all the kings. He's the boss. He's the leader of his own life. As long as it's grounded, we have the ace of pentacles, six of pentacles. We started with the knight of pentacles. And as long as it's based in your truth, like you can't really go wrong if you do those things. Um, let's just get a couple more from this deck and then we'll clarify with Mystic Mondays. What else do we need to hear on November 25th, 2023? Thy Priestess. Yeah. Uh, stay guided by your intuition. Again, don't stray from the path that you're already on just because maybe some fire or something kind of triggers something inside of you or someone says something dumb or like there's some kind of miscommunication like with all mercury and mars and sagittarius again it's like the the planet of the planets of communication and then mercury's communication and technology and things like that and then mars is um communication as in like how you kind of argue or fight it's also like passion and sexuality and all that stuff so like those both being in Sagittarius, in Sagittarius season, things can get really fiery and really heated really fast. And just stay true to you. Trust yourself. Because the sun is coming. Because we know we have our eye on the prize. And what's the prize is the sun. The, the amount of times the sun has come up in these readings as well is like insane. Because it's, it's the happiest, most abundant card in the deck. And we've seen it so many times. And I'm like, nice, that's nice, that's nice. Um, I just realized the hero finds us at the bottom of our other deck. This is the card of Taurus, and we're in our moon in Taurus. Um, you know, it, it, this is also a card of tradition and structure. And I think that's the thing here is like, as we're in this like heavy, heavy fire energy, as we're in this like kind of little bit of chaos and, and fire and air and, and everybody's like popping off, it's like, nope, you're not though. You're staying in your lane, unbothered you know, trusting yourself, um, sticking to the kind of plan that you came up with, the, the, the goals that you've set, taking your risks that are going to lead you to that wish fulfillment and to the sun, but you're not allowing yourself to kind of be distracted by nonsense or other people, like, just do you, stay on your path. What else do we need to know on November 25th? Anything to clarify? Ugh. Eight of Pentacles, exactly. Stay on your grind. Do not get distracted. Do not 
like let things distract you from your hard work. And that's not to say, you know, the two of pentacles has been coming a lot uh, up in these readings. And that's also the card of like, you can't just work all the time. You can't just play all the time. You have to have a balance of both. Um, like stay on your grind, uh, but not in a toxic way, like not in a, you're just working 24 seven type of way, but in a, a not distracted type of way. Again, do not allow yourself to get distracted by all this chaos and stuff happening around you. Um, you stay focused. You stay eyes on the prize is what I'm hearing. Eyes on the prize. Stick to your guns. Like, don't get distracted. King of Swords, exactly. Mental clarity. <laughs> stay clear. Stay true to your vision. Stay clear to your vision. This is the King of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, stay, stay clear and um, honor your truth. And the, the King of Swords is mental clarity, having a clear mind, cutting through that brain fog, like intellect and like just being, what is, what am I hearing? It's like, a, again, just like cutting through the fog and, and staying clear and, and like you're, you're seeing through like other people's nonsense. You're like, I don't even want to get involved because you're just being ridiculous. Like, you know, you're, we're very in our King of Swords energy, I think in this collective. Yeah, absolutely. We have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, we're not letting anybody that's on their nonsense get the best of us. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles as well, again, at the bottom of the deck, but Seven of Swords, you can see in this deck specifically, she's like hiding a sword behind her back. Like the, yes, the Seven of Swords is a card of um, doing things differently and kind of innovation, but it's also lying, cheating, stealing, deceptive of nature and I'm not saying that people around you are being that but if they are you're like no <laughs> like nine of wands you're like very defensive stance here on this nine of wands it's like no I'm just not even going to get involved like it doesn't matter what their intentions are if they're doing it on purpose or not or like maybe they're just being weird with their words or whatever but you're just like no <laughs> like you're like I'm too I'm too much in my nine of wands, right? The nine of wands is the final stretch, the final countdown. You're like so close to the end and you're like, I'm not going to get distracted by your nonsense. <laughs> like stay focused, my friends. What else do we need to hear on November 25th? My allergies have been so bad lately. So you hear me sniffling. That's why. Three of Wands. Yeah, planning, figuring out the path ahead. Um, you know, it is, it's, I don't really see a delay here, but I see more of just like, again, you're in your Eight of Pentacles. You're so focused on your grind, on your path, on like where you're going and how you're going to get to where you want to be that again, you're just so focused on looking ahead that you're just not really paying attention to other people's nonsense. And there's the nonsense in question, the five of cups, which has been our stalker card for eternity, nine of swords. Yes. Five of wands. What did I say? <laughs> like if you allow yourself to kind of get distracted, this is what it's going to be. It's going to be five of cups. It's going to be nine of swords. It's going to be five of wands. Five of wands chaos. You can see nine of swords. She has all those swords in her brain, stress, anxiety, nightmares, five of cups, grief. Um, there will be distractions. Maybe today there's going to be something that possibly triggers some grief to come up or trigger some stress, and anxiety to come up or trigger some chaos. Your job is to not get distracted by it. Again, there's the ace of swords again, cut through it. Cut through the nonsense. You have to be able to practice discernment and, and stay true to yourself and be like, not my circus, not my monkeys. It's what's coming up. Not my circus, not my monkeys. Let them do their thing over here. And it doesn't mean like if someone is getting triggered or someone is in their kind of chaos energy, it doesn't mean they're a bad person. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that they're doing their thing and you're doing yours. Everybody goes through that. Everybody goes through crises. Everybody goes through chaos. And it's just, it's just discernment in knowing when it's your chaos and when it's your kind of like, stop taking on the chaos of other people, basically. Like, let them kind of do their thing. And you will be victorious. Six of Wands. It's going to be a very quick slope into victory if you can keep your Ace of Swords and you can stay to your truth and put down the Swords. Five of Swords. Like, again, Five of Swords and the Five of Wands are both of the cards of fighting. You know, chaos... Um, and offensive on the five of wands, defensive and like more arguments in the five of swords. Um, you know, it's, we got to put those swords down. That's what the five of swords is. You know, the five of swords traditionally is like after the battle and people are like putting their swords down and they're just kind of like, you know, 
looking all dejected, like, because they lost the battle. Like, it's not worth engaging in, like, the chaos and the nonsense because it's probably going to end with you losing the battle or you just getting distracted. And it's, like, so not worth it. We have the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. If you can stick, again, to your Aces, we have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. If you can stick to your new beginnings and your full energy and your wish fulfillment and your wish come true, like, something's going to come in very rapidly for you. You know, the Eight of Wands is, like, rapid manifestation, rapid communication, like it's literally arrows being shot in. And we have the Queen of Swords here now. You need to stick to your truth. You need to stick to your guns. You need to be able to cut things out when you need to. She has a sword in one hand and an open hand in the other. Like it's the balance. It's the balance. It's the balance of boundary setting. I think people think that, you know, it's like you only set boundaries when something's wrong. No, every healthy relationship should have boundaries. That's how healthy relationships exist, is by speaking your truth and setting boundaries. It's not something you only do because something bad happened. Like, you kind of need to set boundaries from the get-go. And the Queen of Swords is a reminder that you can have boundaries, and that doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't mean you're cutting yourself off from receiving. She has one hand still outstretched for receiving, and then the other is holding that sword that's going to, like, cut out the nonsense, basically. I want to clarify with maybe just a couple of oracle cards. Let's just see what comes out. Stay in your lane, friends. Stay true to yourself. Don't let people get to you. Any final messages? This is the Sacred Symbols Oracle, by the way. Safe travels. That's nice. This card is, I've seen this a few times in this deck. If you're traveling, you know, it's nice and safe. And it's also like safe travels forward, you know? The more you, again, stay in your lane, the safer you will be from getting distracted from your path. Ah, so many cards. Let me just like one or two more. That'd be nice. For November 25th, 2023. Spiritual cleansing, yes, maybe you need to cleanse some stuff out of your life. Maybe you need to cleanse some people out of your life. There's that, it's stormy and it has like a, a ship like in a storm. Again, there might be rocky waters around you. There might be people around you, like <laughs> fire. <laughs> there might be people being a little fiery around you. It's your job to stay in your balanced, grounded energy, even amongst rocky waters. Like, this is also just the two that I just pulled just to see. We have Lucky and Soulmate. Like, this is this is kind of wish fulfillment energy, right? You know, we have a horseshoe there, and then this is the Soulmate card. It's like, what are most of us wishing for? Love, happiness, luck, abundance, all those things. Like, remember, again, Lucky and Soulmate are kind of like the prize. Keep your eyes on the prize when you're in those stormy waters, when you're dealing with, like, chaos and nonsense all around you and all these fire signs and, like, eh, everybody's losing it. You don't have to. <laughs> you can set your boundaries and you can stay in your lane and stay focused and you'll be fine. So on November 25th, 2023, stay focused, not your circus, not your monkeys, you know, all that jazz, support a small business. I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's another small business, but please support a small business today. All my offerings are in the description box below. Again, my personal readings are half off. There is a bit of a wait time just because so many people have been booking. Um, but Half off personal readings if you want a reading just like this for you. I'm doing year ahead readings. If you want to know what the year has in store for you, you can book that. Those are half off. And this ends at the end of November. So it's almost over. So please, please book yours before it ends. Um, you know, even if it takes me a couple days to get to it, at least it's booked and you got the sale. All my witchcraft and wellness offerings are also half off. I have a full witchcraft and wellness bundle that has literally everything I offer. All my ebooks, all my courses. Like if you are looking to start your witchcraft and wellness journey, if, you, if you're a baby witch looking for somewhere to start, Start. It's it's a place to start. It has a 30 day witchcraft and wellness challenge, my moon magic guided journal, and all my courses. So please support a small business today. Again, I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's another small business. I would love to know what small businesses you're supporting in the comments. Um, and that's all I have for today, my friends. And I will see you for tomorrow, November 26th.